Qatar and Egypt are working on details of the humanitarian pause in Gaza. The lead Qatari negotiator between Hamas and Israel says Qatar's work is not done yet. And finally, Euromed Human Rights Monitor has asked the UN to recognize Israel's actions in Gaza as genocide. Hi, this is Ali. This is The Roundup and here are today's top stories. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has released a statement saying that the Gulf state and Egypt are working out the details on executing a humanitarian pause in Gaza between Hamas and Israel. Spokesperson for the Foreign Ministry, Dr. Majid bin Mohammed Al Ansari, further added that the date and details of when the pause agreement will come into force will be announced in the next few hours. On that note, Qatar's Minister of State Mohammed Al Khalifi spoke to U.S. news broadcasters CNN on how the Gulf state played a crucial role in negotiations between Hamas and Israel. The two sides have come to a humanitarian pause in the besieged strip to allow hostages to be released both ways, as well as let crucial aid enter Gaza to benefit millions of displaced Palestinians. According to the Qatari minister, talks between the two sides were long drawn out and complicated, but Qatar's work is yet to be done as they look to complete a permanent ceasefire. And finally, Euromed Human Rights Monitor has penned an open letter to the United Nations to recognize Israel's actions in the Gaza Strip as genocide. According to Euromed, a staggering 2.5% of Gaza's total population was either killed or injured in the brutal Israeli attacks since 7th of October. Comparing that percent to the amount of civilians in Gaza would amount to approximately 18 million Europeans or 11 million Arabs. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.